the MLB. Will Major League Baseball be mm-hmm. played this year? I don't know. I don't think so. No. I don't think so because they are so far apart. They are so far apart. See, I think they're far apart right now, but I think owners realize at some point it would be a lot better for them to give the players what they want this year because the players aren't being like obnoxious and like asking for like too much, I don't think. But I'm sure they can find some middle ground somewhere because the owners know if they don't play a season at all this year, that's a lot of money they're going to lose out on. That's going to hurt them for the future. So the TV rights and everything, that's so much revenue. Exactly. So I think money's going to talk here. I think eventually owners are going to meet the players halfway. I think the players will do the same. Uh, they're just. I think the the plan right now doesn't work for a lot of the players, especially those who are the younger ones not getting paid a lot because they're going to make – I, I mean, not to say that it's not a lot of money, but they're used to making like a million dollars per year, and now they're going down to like was like four hundred thousand, which is still a lot of yeah, money. Yeah. But you know, with all of the expenses of travel and all that stuff, eventually, like it's going to catch up to you. So, I think they'll find some sort of plan. But I, for baseball, I think it's more of a concern because it's a longer season. This have to play out is to see like where this whole coronavirus thing is when they yeah. want to start. That's the yeah, more so. Yeah. And like you said, Jamie, that's a good point, though, like to say that that, that's not a lot of money because, like, in the grand scheme of things, like, it is a lot of money. But the fact, you know, and if you look at, you know, what Joe Schmo is making as a mechanic or, you know, someone even fighting for our country, you know, stuff like that. And my uncle brought these points up and it's, it's something to think about. But, like, at the end of the day, these guys have a contract. And I just, I have a very hard time siding with billionaire owners who have already pissed off the entire country begging, you know, for tax p- taxpayer money to build their own stadiums. Like that's a, that, that just rubs you the wrong way. I can't side with billionaire owners. And it, yeah, they may take a cut this year, but it meant like you have those teams, you're going to make money over the long run. And none of these owners are going to go broke from being billionaires for one bad season of revenue. And I get that they have a ton invested in the game, but the fact of the matter is, is they have enough money to suck, to go through this where some, you know, kid that's on the verge of triple a in, in major leagues, like, yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot to, to, you know, say that that $400,000 is still a lot of money, but in the grants, maybe, you know, this kid blows a knee out and, and that money is all he has left, you know, it's right. like that and, and right. You know, it's, I just can never side with billionaire owners. They pissed me off for the last, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. It's just hard to well, take yeah, their sides. A, a major league baseball player has only so many years to make money. A, a owner has 40, right. 50 years to make money. So they can, they can kind of wait out. They can kind of wait it out longer than a guy who's trying to make money, especially not just yet. We're not thinking about the Bryce Harpers or the Garrett Coles or the guys who are making 400 Five hundred million dollars on a contract they're already on right now. We're talking yeah, about the guys exactly. who are trying just to, to make the league and are just making the minimum. What about guys like Nico Horner who are sitting on yeah. those weird, you know, in between yeah, seats? Trying to spots put yourself or, in a contract. You know, even you're trying to make a contract. You're trying to make some money, like, and you only have a certain amount of time to do it. And it's just and now it's it's really like said, just a fight between the owners and the players, and I just don't see it uh, getting resolved here anytime soon which is which just sucks because I, i'll take if the governor or like uh the president or something happens like with the weather or something or with the coronavirus i'll, I'll take that as an, an excuse for not playing baseball but for them to be fighting with each other and that's why we can't get baseball to happen that's when it kind of gets to be like okay i'm, I'm over the whole like uh, like I, I i get mad at both sides in a way too because you, yes I am the players are I feel like the players are the owners are trying to take advantage of the players. They're try, they know that they they can they're going to try and get some money. Uh and I think this is going to turn into a lockout anyways. I think that this, it's going to end up being a lockout after all this because I think it's this after this season is when the deal is up between the players and the owners and I think it's it's not yeah. this is not helping anything. I don't I don't think there's been a lot yeah, of I love between right. those two uh, as of late in Major League Baseball. No, and especially too. I and I was going to ask you guys about this too. Um, so there, I think it was the Oakland Athletics decided they're not going to pay their minor league players anymore after this month um, because of lack of money. I'm assuming. Um, 
do you guys think that if they're not being paid by the A's anymore, that those players have the right to go and look for other options with other organizations, or do they still owe the A's like you know their responsibility to play for them in the future? That brings up a really tough question there too. That's a good uh, point. Because that's like volunteering, but then basically to be part yeah. of the A's. I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I guess how it. I don't really know what I, I, you would. You can kind of see where if they're not going to pay you, you'd be like, "Hey, can I get? Why do I deserve to stay in this contract?" I don't know. I don't. I don't think that it, that's just that's tough. That's a tough question. That's a good poll question. Because they're not going to play this year. They're not going to play this year. So no. obviously they're just out of a year of baseball. So when they come back next year, like they're, I mean, you could either say a year is up on your contract or. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do, but that's... That's going to be a court battle, dude. Yeah, because a lot of teams are still paying their minor league players, but the A's yeah. excited to not. So I think that's just a really, really tough part about this whole thing. If they're not going to pay points. you and you just wasted a year, you should just be free to go. Like, if that's, that's the end of your contract, or if, like, even if you're on a four-year deal, that cuts it down to a three. Like, that's bogus. Yeah, I agree. I'm with you there. Like you talked to, like Zach brought up earlier, they have you know, a limited window to, to make their money and, you know, be, uh, or have that possibility to make another contract or make that money. Like if you're not going to honor that, then, you know, you should be free to go because along yes, your I way. I understand we didn't think the coronavirus was going to happen and all this, like the whole, the whole pandemic thing, but it's not like, you, it's like, not like I should just not get my money. Like, I don't know. It's a lot of, especially if you have, Fine contract. That's that's bogus. Put that one up on a poll on a Twitter account. 